In this video, we are looking at comparing two quantities using percentages. Before watching the rest of this video, make sure you are comfortable with number one, simplifying fractions, and number two, converting between fractions, decimals, and percentages. Let's take a quick look at this question. A house in a village was worth 200,000 pounds in 2006. It fell in value to 160,000 pounds in 2009. We then have to work out what percentage of its value it lost between 2006 and 2009. After that, the property began to rise in value. It was worth £200,000 again, so the same as what it was worth in 2006, it got back to that value in 2011. And then we have to work out by what percentage the house increased in value between 2009 and 2011. Now there are a lot of words there so let's try and simplify this situation down. What we know is the following. In 2006 the house was worth £200,000. In 2009 it had dropped in value to £160,000 and then by 2011 it had got back to £200,000. And what we have to work out is what percentage of its value it lost between 2006 and 2009 and what percentage of its value it gained between 2009 and 2011. In other words, we are just looking for these missing numbers. Let's create some space here and start the first question. As we've seen in previous videos on percentages, it often helps to start with fractions. So let's think about the new value over the old value as a fraction. Well, in 2009, its value was 160,000 pounds, and in 2006, it was 200,000 pounds. So we are expressing the new value as a fraction of the old value. Now this is a fraction that you can simplify without using a calculator but if you get some nastier numbers here then pop them into your calculator and maybe turn it into a decimal. So in this case we get four fifths or if you would put that into your calculator you would get 0 0.8 now, as I said at the beginning of the video, you need to be comfortable turning fractions or decimals into percentages. And doing that here, we find that that is 80%. Now, that's not the end of the question. What we're saying is the new value is 80% of the old value. It hasn't lost 80%, it's still got 80% of its original value. So what has it lost? Well, if it's gone, down to 80% of its original value, it has lost 20% of its original value. So it has lost 20%. That is the answer to this question. We can check this quickly by working out 20% of 200,000. Well, 10% of 200,000 is just 20,000 pounds. So 20% would be 40,000 pounds. And let's just check, has it lost 40,000 pounds? Yes, it has. So 20% is correct. Going back up to our notes here in the top, I just want to note that 20% decrease here. Right, next we need to work out what the percentage increase is from 2009 to 2011. Now, you might be looking at this and thinking, wait a minute, it went from 200,000 down to 160,000, but then it's going back to the same original value again. It's going back to 200,000. So if we had a 20% decrease, surely we have a 20% increase here. I'm afraid the answer to that is no. It doesn't work like that, and I'm going to show you why. Let's consider what's going on here. So now we are dealing with 2009 and 2011. And we now look at the new value compared to the old value. What we're really doing is talking about 2011 versus 2009. So let me make this really clear on the video. In the second question, when I talk about the new value, I mean 2011. 
when I talk about the old value, I mean 2009. In the previous question, the new value was 2009's value and the old value was 2006's value. Let's come back to the second question. So the new value over the old value is 200,000 over 160,000. And that simplifies to five quarters or as a decimal, 1.25. Now, as a percentage, that is 125%. So what we're saying is the new value is 125% of the old value. That's not the final answer to this question. If the new value is 125% of the old value, that means the old value must have gone up by 25%. We can see this in the new diagram I've got in the top right hand side. The original value in 2009 was this much. In 2011, it had gone up and it was 125% of the old value, so a greater amount. And that is an increase of 25% of the original value. So there is our answer. Let's quickly check this makes sense. Remember, what we're saying is that from 2009, to 2011, we are having a 25% increase. So let's find 25% of 160,000 pounds. 25% is a quarter, and a quarter of 160,000 is 40,000. And we can see that, yes, indeed, we add 40,000 onto this to get to 200,000. So that is a 25% increase.